guys, we're here at the gym at Adam Olson Fitness. I am doing the true diagnostic test. Amy wanted to stab me with something, so <laughs> here we are. I, I mentioned to a bunch of you guys before that we were getting into conversations about longevity. I said I was gonna take some blood tests, so this is one of them. It's by True Diagnostic. I will give you guys a link in the description of this video when I'm done. If you hear any barking, that's a puma in the background. So um, I've already warmed up my arm with an arm pack. Amy's gonna use this Tasso device that you can purchase along with this kit. Um, these are not cheap, so I'll send the link if you guys are interested you know, at your own risk. But it gives you basically a whole breakdown of uh, your epigenetics, the methylation on your DNA, telomere length, and all types of other metrics about your uh, biological age versus your chronological age. So I'm kind of on this journey to see if I can reverse some of my biological age. We'll see. So this is test number one uh, by True Diagnostic. Again, I'll send a link. My arm is already warmed up with a heat pack. Amy's going to uh, stab me with this tasso thing, and I got to sit here, so we might have to fast forward through some of this while blood pours out of my arm. So, warmed up the arm, cleaned the arm, got some blood flow in there, and now she's got to like use this little test tube doohickey. That's all you do. And insert it into this device, this little tasso device. We'll break it. What do you mean? That's why you're here. <laughs> Clearly, we don't know what we're doing with this thing. Take this thing off. Yeah, you're good. Take this off. The sticker comes off. It's got a little sticky jabby jab thing on here. I don't know. And then where's this going? Oh the shit! Right where I just put that little thing. Okay. All right. So she's gonna stab me in the arm here, and then I gotta sit here with this device on my arm for like two minutes. Push the clips or something. Now I gotta sit here for like two minutes while this thing pulls blood out of my arm. So we're probably gonna fast forward this part straight down on the arm. I have to fast forward this. I got to be here for like however long. I need like 250 milliliters oh, of blood goes. in the tube. Oh, oh, here it goes. And then once I got blood in the tube, oh. we're gonna seal it up. And then I think I have to put it in the fridge until I send it. So it's late tonight. I'll probably send it out tomorrow in the mail. It comes with a biohazard package. It comes with uh, all the stuff that you need. I hear you back there. I hear you. It comes with everything that you need to send it back to the lab. You there? So, it goes back to the lab, and then I think within four to six weeks, they'll send you the results. Now, you have to do a registration, so they give you like a barcode, you have to register online first when you go to the website, and then there's a whole questionnaire about your medical history and blah, 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 that they ask for you. Okay. Oh, that's what it's to do. You take this for me for a second. All right. There I am in a, in a bottle. Is there some blood in there or something? Sure. Test number one is done. I'm going to do... I'm going to do another test for NAD. No, it's a two. It's definitely not. I'm going to do another test for NAD. I'll go over that one once we do that video. So this is test number one that I'm taking. All right. So we're all set. Boom. Tests. This is Adam in a vial right here. So I got to put the cap on. 
and then I got to throw this thing in the fridge and then send it off to the lab. So that's it. The tree, the true diagnostic test is done. Um, as soon as these go out, basically I'm going to start a full supplement regimen that I have set aside. I already purchased a whole lot of supplements to see if I can with these supplements and some modification to my diet, um, that I can see if I can reverse my biological age and change some of my, uh, DNA methylation and whatnot. Also, um, if you're here in the gym and you see me regularly and you're not watching these videos, you'll probably notice that I'm starting, I'll start to lose some body fat and get leaner. Um, I'll be running a caloric deficit while I'm doing this in order to trigger autophagy, which is a process of like cellular clearing. Um, so, and that usually happens when you run any type of deficit. So I don't want you to think there's like some magic about it. If you're losing weight, chances are that, that process is going on. Um, there are other people that are doing this. There's actually a thing called the rejuvenation Olympics, which I've entered myself into just to kind of see how, how much you can reverse your age and how far you can take the results. There's other people doing things like this out there in the world. So I'm just kind of jumping into that pool to see what I can do. So here we are uh, for the record. Yes. For the record, I'm 43 years old now. Um, biologically, so I have no idea what I am, yeah. but we're going to find out. And then I'm going to do these blood tests again in six months. Uh, I already did my regular blood work with my uh, general practitioner. Everything basically came back pretty good. My uh, HDL cholesterol was a smidge over 100, which he didn't really think was a big deal. Um, other than that, everything was cool. He said, I have, you know, what looks like the blood work of someone that would be somewhere between their 18 and mid twenties. So that's great. Um, I didn't run a testosterone panel yet. Uh, for anyone that is interested, I'm a lifelong natural athlete. Um, so anything I competed in has been 100% drug free, no PEDs of any sort. I do use supplementation, creatine monohydrate, things like that. Um, and I'll, I'll fully disclose my full supplement regimen to everyone so that they can see what I'm doing, what I've been doing, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I'll be getting my testosterone panels done within a week or so. Once I have that, I'll share that blood work as well. So you guys can see what that looks like. You can see what my uh, free testosterone is like and blah, blah, blah. All that, all those metrics, if you're interested and want to look at that stuff. Um, usually what happens the longer you go into a caloric deficit, testosterone levels, libido, sex drive, all that stuff starts to take a, a dive. So like when you're really lean and you're stepping on a bodybuilding stage or whatever, like you're physiologically feeling pretty horrible. Like you're tired, you're hungry, you're irritable. You've got, you know, probably a low sex drive at, the, at that time. Um, so hormonally, it's not the best place to be. So I don't really want to run this forever this way. So I'm trying to figure out if I need to pulse it or if at some point in time, if I was going to do this for the rest of my life to try to keep myself as biologically young as you as possible, you would have to probably consider some form of TRT if you were going to do that down the road. So I'm just giving you all the information out there. But right now, TRT is not something I'm thinking about, but I am thinking if I'm going to get lean and get leaner in this process, I may venture into competitive bodybuilding again while I'm doing this. But we'll see as uh, everything unfolds. So that's it. Again, blood test, true diagnostic. Right. Amy back at Amy back fit, assistant. helping me out, being my <laughs> blood drawing assistant today. Adam Olson at Adam Olson Fitness. I'm sure you heard some whimperings of a Kuma bully in the background somewhere. Oh, and uh, that's sorry. it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I will be sharing more information soon. All right, thanks. See you.